Speak Student. The Metamorphosis, a la Shmup. A Bug's Life. Let's talk about change for a minute. Nice. But we meant this kind of change. <laughs> change may not be the easiest thing in the world, as this guy could tell you. But sometimes it's a good thing. Yeah. Unfortunately for poor Gregor, it's not one of those times. So why did Kafka turn our hero into a giant bug? Was Gregor's transformation into a cockroach a stand-in for Kafka's own feelings of being alienated in life? Maybe. Kafka was a Jew, and anti-Semites actually referred to Jews as Ungazifer, Kafka's original word defining Gregor's new form. Just because English translations use bug or insect doesn't mean that Kafka wasn't trying to make a point. Another popular theory Taxi. is that Gregor's transformation into a disgusting bug was to symbolize how workers in our capitalistic society were being dehumanized. To put it another way, people were feeling small and unappreciated, kind of like, yeah, you guessed it. Hey, we're in the union. Since bugs don't have thoughts or feelings, they can easily be squashed without guilt. Heck, even Gregor's loving sister, his own flesh and blood, wanted him gone. <sighs> but here's something else to chew on. Gregor didn't seem all that unhappy being a cockroach. Maybe Kafka meant his story to be about the refusal to conform. Gregor hated his boring job and found a way to get out of doing it. I can't come in, I have a bug. Okay, so he, he did die in the end, but the only reason he shipped off to cockroach heaven was because somebody else had a problem with his new look. Oh, he's so ugly. So what was Kafka trying to say? Was that giant insect supposed to awaken our feelings of alienation? <laughs> Make us think about the dehumanization of the species? Or just point out the joys of doing our own thing? Shmoop amongst yourselves. <laughs>